to study the resonance circuits, we have two types of resonance circuits, series resonance and parallel resonance. So now we shall study the resonance frequency, bandwidth, quality factor and inductance in a series resonance circuit. This is the function generator, AC milliameter, inductor whose value is unknown, capacitor, resistance box. These are connecting wires. We shall now start connecting the circuit. From the black terminal in the function generator, connect it to the black terminal in the milliameter. From the other terminal of the milliameter, it is in, connected in series with the inductor. Connect it to the hole in the terminal of the inductor so that there won't be any loose connection. From the other terminal of the inductor, it is connected in series to the capacitor. From the black terminal of the capacitor, It is connected to the resistor. And from the terminal which is left out in the resistor, resistance box, it is connected back to the function generator to complete the circuit. Now the circuit connections are over, we can now start the experiment by switching on the circuit. We have different knobs here, make sure the knob under the sine wave is pressed. Keep the voltage to maximum. Now to adjust the frequency, we have different frequency ranges. These are the multiples of frequency, 1, 10, 100, 1K which is 10 power 3, 1000 Hz, 10K, 100 kilo. So these are the ranges of frequencies which are multiples. So we have to start the experiment with 1000 Hz, so press the knob at 1 kilo. 1K gives you 1000 Hz. Turn the knob so that the one coincides with the line here. So now the frequency becomes 1 into 1K which is 1000 Hz. At 1000 Hz we can see the current in the milliameter which is 4.23 milliamperes. So now before starting the experiment, you'll, before noting down the reading, we will remove a resistance of 100 ohms. Now we can start the experiment. Vary the frequency in steps of 500 Hz and note down the corresponding values of current. We can see at 1000 Hz it's 4.12 mA, 1500 Hz 8.6 mA, the current is increasing, 2000 Hz it's 5.3 mA, so 15.3 mA. 2.5 kilohertz, it's 13.35 milliampere. The current is decreasing now. At 3000 hertz, the current is 8.78 milliampere. Now we have to take 3500 hertz. To, to, get, to get to 3500 hertz, keep it in between 
3400 and 3600 hertz which is between 3.4 and 3.6 here so 3.5 into 1k gives us 3500 hertz and the current is 6.67 milliampere and for the final reading which gives you the 8th value 4000 hertz gives us 5.17 milliampere so this completes the experiment for series resonance circuit now to do the parallel resonance circuit switch off the circuit now we'll remove the connections for the capacitor the capacitor is removed and in place of capacitor we connect the wire so the wire is connected between the inductor and the resistor now while connecting the capacitor you have to connect the capacitor in parallel with the resistance, resistance box and the inductor connect it to the terminals which is not common to the inductor and the resistor which is these two terminals So this is the parallel resonance circuit. Now to start the experiment, switch on the circuit. We can start from 1000 Hz. So 1 into 1K gives us 1000 Hz and the current is 9.87 mA. So wait till the current reaches steady value. It's 9.7 milliampere. So increase the frequency to 500 hertz by 500 hertz. Now it is 1500 hertz. It gives us the current of 4.96 milliampere. 2000 hertz. We can see the current has decreased now to 1.64 milliampere. 2500 hertz. The current starts increasing now. To 2.36 milliampere, 3000 hertz, it is 4.77 milliampere, 3.5 hertz, 3.5 into 10, 1 kilohertz, that gives you 3500 hertz. We have the current as 7.1 milliampere, and the 4000 hertz frequency gives us current of 8.81 milliampere. So this completes the experiment for the panel resonance circuit. After the ex completing the experiment, switch off the circuit and remove the connections. A graph of current against frequency is plotted for both series and parallel circuits in two different graph sheets. From the series resonance curve, resonance frequency F0 corresponding to peak current I max, half power frequencies F1 and F2 corresponding to I max by root 2 are determined. Bandwidth, quality factor and inductance values are calculated from these values. From the parallel resonance curve, frequency F0 corresponding to minimum current is obtained.